Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the King of the Ladder minigame. So this is a really simple game where players have to fight to be the king at the top of the ladder and keep pushing each other off. You may have seen this before in other servers, just in the hub while you're waiting for your friends or something like that. But it's a very simple and fun minigame and we're going to show you how to set it up today. So I've got an example here and as you can see the way you join and leave the game is by going in the zone that you've created. And then the other thing you need to set up is a pressure plate where the king has to stand before other people try and push them off. And that is about it. You can see up at the top there is a boss bar and on the right there is a scoreboard which is pretty cool. Obviously no one else is here to try and contend for it but with lots of people it would be very chaotic and a lot of fun. So how do we create one? Well if we do forward slash kotl help that's going to show us all of the commands. Now the first command we want to do is the create command. Create one called server miner. Now once we've done that we can start editing it. So we want to do kotl edit and then server miner. There it is. And then we get this nice GUI and we need to set a few different things in here. So we've got to set the end location. So once the game is over people will be teleported somewhere. I'm just going to pop that here out front. So if you repeat the edit command, we can set the edit location where you're standing. Now the next thing we need to do is actually set the bounds of the arena. So that's going to give you a special blaze rod like a world edit wand. Left click the bottom corner and then fly up to the top. And I like to have a little bit of room up here. So I'm going to right click this glass block creating a cuboid. And then once you've selected those points, we're going to repeat the command to go back in the GUI. Click the same blaze rod. Now the only other thing we need to do is set the plate location. So if we go up here, we can stand at the top and this is where it's going to be. Now it will destroy the block beneath you so I'm going to pop a block of stone there for it to be and then if we were to do this command we can change the plate so there's a long list of ones let's go for gold and then let's go ahead and set the plate here as you can see that block got deleted and then what we can do is simply save it if we're happy with it that's going to register the arena and then if we walk in bounds you can see the game begins and we can climb up the ladder and here is our lovely gold pressure plate and that is setting me as the king. So it's that easy to create an arena. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMP init control panel and as you can see there's quite a few YML files. The main ones we want to look at is the config and the rewards. So if we have a look in here we've got the default language which is English in this case but there's also Dutch and Turkish. We have the boss bar enabled and the scoreboard enabled and if we scroll down a little bit there's some various things in here that we can enable and disable. So inventory management enabled so all of this good stuff listed here is saved in the folder we just saw previously and then if we scroll down you can disable full damage which I would say is a good idea we've got a hit cooldown delay which you could change if you wanted to and then you saw fireworks when I became the new king do you want that I think it looks pretty nice and then rewards so you can turn on rewards to allow players to get either money or items for becoming king and then we have the notification when someone leaves and joins in chat so if we go back and go into the rewards.yml in here we can set up players to get stuff so if they become king they are going to have this command performed plus this said in chat so they'll get two dollars and it says i won the game and if they lose there is a 10 percent chance of getting eight dollars and you can see up here there's some good examples of how to do various things such as broadcasting having certain amounts of chance to do certain things so as an example i have given a player one diamond when they win and then there is a 50 percent chance to get one piece of coal when they lose so here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19 there is lots of good information here with commands and permissions for both the admin and the player and then they can obviously check the stats, see who is the best. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.